Hello folks and welcome Linux Mint 22. This is beta beta Linux Mint 22. I'm going to talk about what's new. I'll give you um, some of the stuff that's written and then I'm going to go through the menus uh, my way. I'll show you um, information on software manager, synaptic package manager. I'll talk about the uh, how many themes they have, additional themes, action tools, applets, desklets, extensions, and etc. So welcome folks. I am filming in 1920 by 1080. Adjust your YouTube player accordingly. This does look very nice in 4K. I thought I'd spare you the smaller icons. If you're not a subscriber, the icon is in the corner with yellow brackets. Welcome folks. So let me go through, um, actually I probably closed that a little too quick. So let's go through uh, some of the post-it stuff for documentation. All right, I'm going to go full screen my way and I'll blow this up slightly. So Linux Mint 22, code name Wilma, is going to be supported until 2029. The current releases for Mint, I'll go to their home page, is 21.3. That particular schedule uh, has Virginia being supported until April of 2027. Let me make that bigger for you. On all of their products, including the both Cinnamon desktops, Mate and XFCE. And uh, downstairs is also LMDE6, uh, that's Debian. That doesn't have a posted date for that. So let me continue with 22. Again, this is beta. Please keep that in mind. I, I posted it down at the bottom of the screen so you understand this is not the official release. All right, so don't even ask me when it's going to come out. Clem and his team are the only ones with that info. But this is the beta copy and it's been released. Better language support software support or support for newer technology modern components translation it uses a newer uh, series linux kernel let me open that up for you so you can take a fresh peek at this yourself it's a 6.8 series kernel you can see the current version that will change by release time i'm sure all right default sound server is pipewire if you're curious and uh, some of the other bullets uh, uh, updated uh, themes updated to support GDK 4s uh, JXL support in your PIX application um, that's in your Mint menu and um, you can talk about libsoup uh, and has migrate was migrated to libsoup 3 um, so high dots per inch support improvements and uh, just wanted to let you basically know I'm using the open source driver even though I have an NVIDIA card so um, on the open source driver for my NVIDIA card, the Wayland support does not work. And you can do that out of the login screen. I haven't even tried installing the official um, NVIDIA driver. It's uh, working out just fine for me. And standard uh, login window with Cinnamon is working just beautifully for me. All right, I'm gonna come back to uh, some of the information regarding your software manager and also synaptic also because there's some changes in here so I'll do that firsthand okay uh, the matrix tool I found interesting it's actually pre-installed in the web apps if you have never seen any of my videos on web apps I'll take a peek at those you don't have to have any coding skills I even show you how to make one for your home router so that's non-internet so yeah it's a pretty versatile tool Okay, Cinnamon 6.2, also in the, uh, the Actions layout, has some integration in here to your Nemo. Nemo is the file manager for Linux Mint Cinnamon, if you are fairly new to Mint. Okay, so here are some of the Cinnamon 6.2 series features. Other improvements. Again, I'm not going to go and uh, hammer on this all day some new artwork I will show you some of them so the main components again are 6.8 series kernel since Linux Mint 22 is based off of Ubuntu packages it's 22 sorry it's 2404 and the long-term support strategy is until 2029 and the other one for your current releases 
for 21.3 is going to be supported. You can read it for yourself until April of 2027 as posted. Okay, that covers the welcome screen. We still have the same, same set of uh, calendar stuff for the volume thing, network thing, and all the way across. So one more time with the Linux kernel. It is a 6.8 series as an FYI. So it should find most of your modern hardware without a problem. All right, moving to the main menu, let me just walk through it really quickly. This is still resizable. And uh, we can go over with the accessories. Again, filming in 1920 by 1080, if I didn't say so. So most of these tools are the same. Our web apps has a new addition, which is called Matrix. That was installed by the Linux Mint team. If you haven't seen any of my videos, um, web apps is blank when you normally get it on 21.3 and you can add your own stuff and I have lots of videos on that. All right, moving along, Office is the latest one. It's a 24 dot something. It's the latest version of Libre. You've got the standard calendar in here, which integrates also the one in the corner. All right, um, calendar thing you can, uh, um, you know, you can also import other tools like uh, G, uh, Gmail, uh, sorry, the the Google Calendar. Sorry, I, I couldn't think of that word for a second. It escaped me. I added Simple Screen so I can bring you this video. Other than that, these are the three come installed. Backup tool is the same. A driver manager, again, if you have an NVIDIA card, you may want to choose the um, different drivers. I'm using the open source currently, and I'm going to leave it that way until they officially released Linux Mint 22. All right, so... Um, the uh, software manager I'll come back to and also Synaptic. And um, anyways, this is in the admin side and then preferences. Okay, so let's get the software business out of the way. Here's software manager. So another name for software manager is Mint install. This is 8.3.1. And it has a new feature in the hamburger menu called preferences. The show unverified flat packs not recommended is turned off. So that's one of the biggest, newest features that you'll see. So if I click flat pack, you'll see it's empty. So I could install other stuff with the stuff that has a check mark is already installed. If you're not that familiar with Mint, uh, let's pick on this package here for a second. We can install that rather easily. Screenshots are clickable. Some of them are blurrier than others. I would use the reviews discerningly. Does not state how many pieces of software. I'm going to do that another way. Linux Mint has a very nice search feature. I'm going to type in SYN and open up Synaptic Package Manager. There are three ways to install software with Linux Mint 22. You can install it through Synaptic Package Manager, Software Manager, or Terminal. I installed the recording software through Terminal. Synaptic Package Manager currently is reporting 73,479. This is beta. Stuff is coming from here. If you're having sluggish uh, responses from repos, you can uh, change these, um, these uh, software sources, repositories. Uh, let this clock for a good uh, 20, 30 seconds, and then you can pick the highest speed and hit apply. You will have to update your cache. That's not a big deal, though. Okay, so same thing here. It'll start clocking in a second. All right, so pick the nearest source or the fastest source, whichever. All right, I'm sure you can find something out of that 73,000 plus. All right, let's talk a little bit about um, settings. So the new um, wallpapers is called Wilma. I'll just give you a taste of a couple of them. That one's kind of nice. I'll switch this back to standard. OK. 
Okay, same tools as previously. You can also play your backgrounds as a slideshow. That's been available in the last previous versions. All right, so uh, the themes, um, I'm just gonna click quickly through here. Uh, I didn't add anything. So um, these are your current available mouse cursors that Mint installed for you. Uh, they have this called as uh, applications. I sometimes refer to these as button sets. And there's a whole bunch of these things. Same thing with icon sets and desktop. Now, if you do the add remote thing, there's currently 91 in here after you let the cache update. 91. Okay, moving along. I'm going to skip over a couple of these and I'm going to go to actions. These are tools. So actions in the download field are 39. Okay, so the themes were 91 if, if I didn't say so earlier, but the action tools are 39. And the layout tools also interface with Nemo. If you're not familiar with that word, that is the file manager for the Cinnamon desktop. How many applets does it have? Uh, currently with this beta copy 207. So I'm giving you extra data here regarding this kind of stuff. Okay. How many desklets with this beta copy? Roughly 51. I'm not using any of them. I'm talking about the download section. The extensions, which I'm not using either, currently are 29. Just giving you some numbers for the Linux Mint 22 beta. All right, so normally this here has no timer. If you'd like to have that, you click general and you flip this over and you plug in your time frame. This will be currently set for auto shutdown 60 seconds. You can change that. I've shown also how you can make power icons before. Fairly standard stuff in here. Again, you can get the bare minimum specifications either by punching that into a search engine, what the bare minimum uh, specification for Mint is, or you can go onto Mint's website. All right, I'm not gonna talk about every single box in here. I'll go through the startup section quickly. Nothing really to change there or talk about. And uh, this is another system information box. And again, don't use this as your gauge about the minimum specifications for Mint. This is just happens to be hardware that I was having available to test drive this Linux Mint 22 beta. But uh, more importantly, this is Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon. And it's using a 6.2 series Cinnamon version. That last number will more likely change by the time it's all said and done for release. And you can see the Linux kernel is advanced. It's 6.8. That got installed uh, with the beta copy. I didn't pick that. Everything is, is stock in here, including the, uh, the open source driver. So I'm going to let you see that. I'm not using the proprietary driver. I'm, I'm using open source. And it's working just fine for me. But I can certainly do the recommended if I wanted to. Um, a firewall is still UFW or GUFW, however you want to look at that and it comes turned off. Okay, just like in the previous version. The login window, I just got done releasing a video for 21.3 discussing the same matter. Usually if you're in, uh, setting up your machine and you decided to pick auto logins, your user normally appears in here. Okay, you may want to take a peek at that video. Software sources, another shortcut, if you don't uh, get proper response from the mirrors, you can change those. Here's the one for Mint, and you just let this thing clock for a couple of seconds. Now yeah, I would probably give it a 15 seconds or so, and I would probably pick the highest speed if I was in a hurry. You can do the same thing with the Ubuntu base. All right, what else am I gonna talk about in here? Um, oh, the file manager, of course. So the file manager has a new version. So Nemo is 6.2.2 currently. So that number may change by the time the official release of 22 is done. Again, one more reminder, this is beta. All of my tricks work the same. Resizing icons on the fly. You can certainly do it the old-fashioned way. When uh, you click this icon here, 
it auto generates this uh, folder right here which is done by Mint and has been for many years and I use that folder actually sometimes to install extra pointers mouse cursors dot icons control H to turn that off edit preferences plugins right click system settings actions layout a lot of these tools interface in here a lot of the tools okay so anyways just wanted to point out some different things that you can uh, take a peek at all right we can uh, all, we can sort this the same way as, as previous if I'm dealing with photos I can resize those on the fly I can click that and hit the spacebar to get a preview and spacebar to close you can also double click to open that if I wanted to hold down the alt key while scrolling I can zoom in and out alt key not control key all right so Alt and F4 is another shortcut of mine to close a window. You can also right click and set this as wallpaper. So this could be photos of the kids, the friends, or whoever. I want to change the one back. You can see all the versatility that Mint has to offer you. Quite a few things. All right. Devices are considered extra stuff. So you could have maybe USB sticks. Um, I don't think I have one laying around uh, maybe I do uh, let me insert one so um, these are both internal hard drives so um, the um, USB stick just uh, popped up on the desktop and you can see it right here so I just auto mount it I don't know what I have in here nothing well yeah I do have a couple things so that's an auto mounted so your um, standard desktop layout is uh, the only thing it's going to show is your mounted drives. I normally turn all this stuff off, but uh, this will now no longer show on the desktop and be in my file manager. And uh, a lot of people will go, I want a trash can here. Do you really need it? Your um, file manager icon is right here. You have a trash can right here. You have your file system right here in your home folder and devices. That's why I don't put any of these kind of icons on my desktop. And in a lot of cases, I just, I like nice, decent wallpaper to stare at. All right, a lot of things that I throw at you. Uh, again, this is Linux Mint 22 beta. So uh, keep an eye up for the Linux Mint website or some other channels that you're uh, interested in for official release numbers. But Linux Mint 21.3 is the current release. In here is your all versions. So whenever um, Clem and his team release 22, you will see that in here, and that will be bumped down one step. This one is still gonna be supported until 2027. And for some of you folks, you may choose to stay on that and not use uh, Linux Mint 22. And that's fine. There's still people on even 20.3 because it's gonna be supported until next year then they'll need to either go to 21 or linux mint 22. thank you for watching